It's day two, here we go. And so we leave our humble abode. Well, what did you make of it, guys? Was it nice? Get a five star review from me. That's five sure. star? We'll yeah. come again. Yeah. Wayne's place is called. Wayne's, Wayne's place. World. Wayne's place. World. It's party time. It's excellent. <laughs> now we're going to find some breakfast and vegan noms. I thought I'd find a nice place to eat, but look at these reprobates. Hello. Terrible. I'm being very naughty today. I'm eating a little off feast. Not always on the fitness thing, but just 99% of the time. 99.9. .9. Uh, and that's me as well. Yeah, I'm a growing, I'm a growing boy. I'm vegan, so I have to eat a lot more if I want any muscles. <laughs> thank you, brother. Thank you. <laughs> Boy, thank you. Salud. Hi. Hi. How are you? Um, the lovely waitress explained that this place is called Waikikamu Kau. Well, that food was very nice, but I only managed half of it because I'm not used to that amount of fat. Not in a bad way, it was lovely food, but obviously I'm high carb in that. Got that round. These two dustbins helped me out. <laughs> Yeah, I'd better get there quite sharp. Um, we need some bands? Yeah. 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 Not talking Thank like you. the support crew of prompt and camera, pe camera yeah, people. Camera people. Like oh, yeah. yeah. Team Herbivore. Oh, okay. I've lost my copy of his speech. Have you got yours? It's serious in my bag. I fell out of my pocket, I think. This is why I like to have three copies. <laughs> Excuse me, could you direct me to the main auditorium? Yes, it's in here. Right. Yeah, and then any particular direction, or will I say? What are you, what are you looking for? Uh, I'm speaking on the athletes panel. Oh, I think that. Maybe I'm late. Not the uh, cinema. Yeah, it's, it's in, the cinema. It's in the auditorium, I've been told. It's in here then, the main auditorium. Maybe it's in the corner for Ah, okay. Thank you, guys. Maybe further along that corridor. Oh, so it's about bars, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Got to be up there, right? Two F. Yeah, um, I've just seen where they are. You're doing a talk about the vegan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So go down there, go up the stairs, and then you'll see uh, a room just in front of you on the left. Up the stairs. Cool, thank you. Thank you, brother. Right. More talk this way. Oh, there's a bit of that. Up the stairs. Thank you, Craig. 
very kind. Thank, Thank you very much. After giving a brief little bio for each of them, then what we're going to do is I'm going to do a few questions specifically that I'm going to ask them. So I'm going to start here with Fiona right next to me. So Fiona is an ultra marathon runner, founder of Tower Hill Stables Animal Sanctuary. She's basically dedicated her life to veganism and animal welfare. Ve made a conscious decision at the age of three to go veggie, at six to go vegan. Triple Guinness World Record holder, fastest woman to run a marathon on each continent in the North Pole, elite marathon runner. Next to her is Kate Strong. Former age group 2014 world champion in triathlon. Also, as a vegan rhino, he plays for Leeds Rhinos, also in Ireland International. Uh, and last but not least, Paul Curtin, also known as the Hench Her Before, YouTube personality. Make sure you check out his fantastic videos, very educational and very humorous as well. Um, personal trainer nutritionist, works, has worked with Narn City Captain, also Scotland International, Russell Martin, broke golf for Sergio Barbs, and has spent six months training with Mr. Universe. Barney Duplessis and basically puts out draw time about his nutrition and about his exercise and you know he's a huge advocate of veganism and what it's done for him and again breaks the stereotype about muscle and strength. So um, that's our four incredible panelists. I'm Dave Sheehan, I'm a vegan triathlete, I'm vegan six years now, I've been involved in the health, fitness, wellness uh, industry for the last 22 years. I'm very passionate, especially since going vegan and educating and motivating and inspiring people to make that positive change in their life. Beam. Look at these lovely people. Look at these lovely people. So we've just had a brilliant athlete panel. The awesome Anthony Mullally was on there. Anthony, do you want to just tell everyone if they don't know who you are, uh, what you do, and etc. Uh, yeah, my name's Anthony Mullally. Uh, play professional rugby league for Leeds Rhinos and Ireland. And I'm down here in Brighton um, doing some. I've been on a panel with myself and do some talks on being using professional sport, and that's the trying to get that message across. Very nice. Very nice. And. How long have you been playing rugby and how long have you been a vegan person? I've been playing rugby since I was like 12, professional rugby since I was 19, 26 now. I've been vegan for about 13 months, vegetarian for two and a half years before that. Nice, nice, nice. And was there a terrible detriment to your sports performance when you cut out the meat and dairy? No, definitely not. <laughs> it, was a, it was a long drawn out process from a meat eater to vegan. It took about, it took about three years that just because of the nature of the sport. Cause um, obviously my, my sport is performance based, so if my performance suffers, that's my career. So I had, I had to research, look into it and slowly wean off. But the final transition from vegetarian to veganism, uh, to, be, sorry, to be a vegan, um, I found that I was able to maintain my weight a lot better. I wasn't fluctuating too much, my body composition stayed the same. And um, strength wise, or strength, my strength was, well, I've hit some of my top strength scores in, in lifts since being vegan. So nice. obviously it, it, it's still definitely maintain strength yeah. if not build it. Nice, brother. I just want to thank you for everything you're doing for those poor animals. No problem. Man. Thank you, brother. Not only have I found my life's purpose, I get to live it every day. What could be more rewarding than promoting this lifestyle that can save people's lives, save animals from terrible suffering, and potentially, if we act fast enough, save the fate of the entire planet for future generations? The more we learn about nutrition, the more and more glaringly obvious it becomes that a whole foods vegan diet is the optimal diet for human health and athletic performance. Mark my words, the time will come when the majority of sporting champions are vegan. Thanks for listening. calories yeah. if you think it's more important if you know that you are uh, taking like a, a variety of whole foods and greens and maybe some nuts if you still need to concentrate on counting calories for most people it is a sort of I think it's a spe species specific diet so it sort of auto regulates <coughs> we basically fill ourselves up and our stomach's a certain size and it's calorically quite dilute and we end up, we're about right. In nature, there's a thing called the law of similars. So if something looks like a cat, whether it's a little kitten or a tiger, it'll eat meat. If something looks like a horse, whether it's a zebra or a donkey, you know, they eat grass and root vegetables. 
and um, they've not got scales and they can't weigh their food, they don't know how many calories, but it just turns out all right. And I truly believe that this is our species specific nutrition and uh, yeah, it's just if you've got a really specific goal, for, so like a strength, like a, um, a physique athlete, then we kind of need to know where we're going so we can tinker and get the exact result we want, but that's quite an unnatural thing and so I think that's why we then need calculators and, and scales. If you're a fan of the channel, you know that I like my while I'm alone. Check this out. Hello. Oh, there's the lady. There's the, the product. Tell yeah. us all about it. So it's a new brand. This is 100% um, watermelon. It's going to be in Asda and Tesco uh, pretty much now. So it's retailing at four pounds. But we're doing nice. a special deal here at VegFest. You heard it here first. Get down to Tesco. Thank you, lovely. Thank you. There. Build is there. Yeah. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. <laughs> Let's do that again. <laughs> that was the warm up. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Go vegan for Oh, yeah! <laughs>